Spirit move over me. Intellectual cost. Everybody say intellectual cost. Say it intellectual cost. So the first cost is your spiritual cost for supernatural accomplishment. Second cost is intellectual cost. Help us, Holy Spirit. Isaiah 5, verse 13. Everybody, be, while you are opening, I'd like you to shout, Knowledge is power. Knowledge. Not, not that school. Say, Knowledge is, power. Knowledge is power. Say it again. Knowledge is power. Hallelujah. Knowledge is truly power. If you value knowledge and you value information, you will do wonders in this earth realm. Please listen. This is where I want everybody to give us our attention because I know for many of us, the spiritual cost, we are paying it very well. But probably, we are not paying the intellectual cost. Knowledge is power. Isaiah 5 verse 13 everyone read one to read therefore my people are gone into captivity because they have no knowledge and their honorable men are famished and their multitude dried up with tests why knowledge everybody say knowledge say information what you do not know can destroy you ignorance is not an excuse in this realm in the world of champions you don't give room for ignorance many of us are spiritually serious but we are mentally lazy we are not willing to pay the price preachers hear me emoji wake up many preachers are intellectually lazy and they wonder why they are not commanding results hallelujah sustainable success is guaranteed by quality access to information your access to quality information about any area of life that you are trusting god to be an ambassador whether business whether your job there are many people who may never be promoted till jesus comes because they are praying in tongues they are paying spiritual prices but they are neglecting their intellectual price look at me see honesty is good but that's not the only thing that is required in delivering results competence is key and competence is a product of intellectual prowess are you listening to me many nigerians have dreams and visions there are many books dream big have a great vision that's wonderful but just having a dream or a vision may never bring it to pass. You must, you must get the knowledge and the information it takes to push that vision from being a dream until it starts walking on two legs. Everybody say intellectual cost. Ignorance is very costly, I told you. Very, very costly. He said, I, Daniel, understood by books book of the law the bible says this book not this chase magazine not this pointless novel this book many of us do not invest in building our intellectual capacity somebody comes and say god is calling me i'm going to be a public speaker i saw it in a vision i saw myself wearing suit like pastor femi you may die and never enter that revelation if you are not ready you think we are going to bring you to come and present a paper for us when you don't you've not read any book on public speaking you don't know anybody hallelujah you're not opening up yourself to learn from people who have gone ahead of you you will never arrive there this is what will frustrate you more many christians are frustrated because they cannot understand why although they are praying although they love god they see that they are lazy intellectually go to the house of many believers you don't find anything somebody is walking in his job he's never read any book to improve him does not understand anything about people's skills does not understand anything about leadership many pastors are governing churches all they know is how to pray in tongues and preach well they have no knowledge 
of corporate leadership they have no knowledge of corporate financing hallelujah principles of conflict resolution they do not know these things they don't care principles of church growth they don't care hallelujah praise the lord it's very important many of us do not pay the price to build ourselves intellectually you believe god is calling you to be a reality a tv show or a hostess or host or marriage and whatever and you sit down people ask you what do you know about marriage is the coming together of a man and a woman to be a husband and wife do you know listen listen see no matter how tongue talking you are are you hearing me if i want to employ people and i see that you are going your your intellectual deficiency is a disadvantage to my corporation do you think i will employ you please answer me so why are you angry with god there are many people who are not interested listen this is important they are not interested in building themselves they don't build capacity how many books do you have in the area you believe god is sending you to see let me tell you we live in a world where the basic knowledge you get from university is not enough are you hearing what i'm saying listen there must be an added advantage the difference between the five virgins who were wise was that they took extra oil there are many people who go into business they don't know anything about the business they just hear somebody went to dubai and went and brought containers you too you stand up carry everything you have home and abroad they go and throw you away from the airport say you are going to dubai they seize all of your goods now you come back god is not faithful i'm a titan no no everybody say intellectual prowess psalms 45 verse 4 can we look at it quickly we're going to pray psalms 45 verse 4 god is doing something in this place he said listen and in thy majesty write prosperously because of what truth information write prosperously because of the truth that you know write prosperously bishop oedeko said something that touched me in a very powerful way he said most restaurants you can go abroad and see certain restaurants and they tell you this restaurant is 50 years old is that true this restaurant is 70 years old the owner has died yet the restaurant is still on in nigeria somebody opens a restaurant after two two years he has fought with everybody in that community till they close the restaurant and the person is a christian everybody say after me your intellect your mind must be transformed for you to accomplish supernaturally i tell you i i feel the fire of god in this place i must burn this enough buy books buy books not trainers buy books not with on buy books not mary Kay. the books will buy you mary Kay. see he said buy the truth sell it not there are certain things i do every day before i sleep every day some of you sleep from morning till night you are just happy lazying around you come and see people reading and you say oh boy you said now wow what are you reading you keep distracting people there is a name for those people they are called enemies of progress How many of us pay attention there are many of us visitation hopping from house to house hopping to people's office gossiping and discussing things that have no bearing to your future great men hear me are men who have learned to settle down and build their minds that you are a christian is no guarantee for you to allow yourself to be mentally lazy they give you a speech to prepare you didn't prepare for it you are not serious about it god has brought favor lack of intellectual preparation killed the favor out of your life hallelujah there are many of you oh 
God is calling me into decoration. What do you know about decoration? How many books? Show me the DVDs you are watching about those who have who are champions in decoration. And you come and just keep slipping dirty pieces of paper for people. Please give me a contract. I am a Christian. I am your member. So what? So what? Oh, I can make hair. Don't patronize that person. He's an unbeliever. Patronize me. The person patron. He said, plot me all back. You plot like this. Yet, you think that the person will just say, okay, you are a nice Christian. Are you contending to improve yourself? I improve myself every day. I'm not satisfied with where I am. In every area of my life. Show me what you are doing to build your mind. Show me the investments you are making mentally. And I can tell you whether you will be part of the world changers or you will be part of the storytellers. Are you listening to me? Very important. Lay your hands on your head and say after me in the name of Jesus. I receive grace to build my mind. I will buy books. I will buy DVDs. I will build myself in the area I've been called to function. I will be the best. I will not relent until I am the best. Say, I will not relent. I refuse to be a local champion. I'm a global champion. Hallelujah. Yes. Make up your mind. Refuse to be a local champion. A brother is, is, is getting married and all he has home and abroad is 200,000. So they called you and gave you 10,000 for decoration. You just did every kind of ugly thing and they say, who did this? They say, you. They say, oh, well done. You just believe that another time you say, I'm carrying a proposal to Abuja. You carry your file and you are moving to go and disgrace yourself in Abuja. When you go there, you will see other people who have worked upon themselves. When you see their designs, you just stand there as if God failed you. Please take seriously what I'm saying. Believers, build yourself. Every day, there are four things I do until, before I sleep. I must build myself spiritually. I must build myself corporately. I must build myself in leadership. What are you doing? What do you do with your 24 hours? Many of you early in the morning, they saw you in Samaru. Later on, you are in Haindogo. Later on, you are around. And you just come and say, I'm, I'm, I had a busy day. Doing busy but doing nothing. Nothing. You went to go and gossip. Jakes, Kajikwa. You now run to another person. You did this. Stop it if you have been doing that. Great leaders are not like that. If somebody comes and is disturbing you, don't be afraid to tell the person, sorry, I'm doing some studies. I'm praying. Some of you are embarrassed. You don't want to be bad. Ah. Create a protocol around your life. Let nobody just jump in and out of your life because they think they want to see you. You are studying. At that point, illumination is coming. Somebody just bash it in. Or buy anything for the boys. Politely tell the person, I'm, I'm in a period, I'm birthing something that can take my family from where they are to Mount Ararat and take them to a place where they will be great. Do you not know, Samadhyam, he says, ideas rule the world. There are many of you, if only you pay attention, the truth is God tried for you. You are very intelligent. You are just not serious. You can't sit down and pay the price. And you know something listen the truth is if you really really want to be great god will open the way for you the reason is many of us do not want it bad enough that's why the way has not opened i don't care what it is you want if you desire it truly he said you will seek me and find me when you seek me with all your heart there is a level of passion when i want things i get them oh yes i get them I will pay any price to get it. For me, pain is not an issue. Hallelujah. When I travel and people who have gone ahead of me, 
in any area of life are talking i get a biro i'm just listening to them ardently or i'm just typing on my phone i'm listening to the wisdom they are bringing while i'm listening i'm reaching out to my pocket finding any seat there to connect you see let me tell you i i taught this already in commanding results the law of honor things do not just happen are you hearing what i'm saying things are made to happen the truth is whatever area it is you are trusting god to go to there are people who are carriers of that grace there are people who have that knowledge you want to plot you believe you want to start a saloon have you gone to somebody who has who has a saloon and tell the person see i have two thousand naira. can i give you this two thousand naira and be coming every day and be learning for one hour i plead with you see me i started plotting somebody this all these people this arrogance is what has kept a lot of people humility if you do not humble yourself you will never build your mind don't wait for people who have solution to come and meet you doctors don't look for sick people they establish an institution called a hospital and the sick people look for them passionately and even in the hospital there are different kinds of words according to your desperation there is a word called emergency word when you really need help badly they take you to that world life has emergency world there are many people who you can get tired of your life that you say no i'm not going to any i'm going to an emergency world build yourself build yourself oh god wants to make me a pastor and god showed me in a vision i'm going to have one thousand branches my brother start getting going for knowledge before you die early the trouble of managing yourself is even killing you and you want to manage 1000 branches full of members see this is why god does not answer the prayer of a lot of people they they want crowd they do not know the complexities that come with managing people every day there is a case somewhere somewhere this is what was wearing moses away and his father jethro in law um, uh, his father in law jethro began to give him a key on how to he would have died for nothing there are many men of god who are dying because they are doing everything everything because they do not understand the principle everybody say i receive grace to build my mind jordan bookstore is there you can start let me see how many of you believe that you are going to do business let me see your hands business people whether potentially or presently what are you doing in that line of business keep your hands lifted so that i will what are you doing are you doing anything or you are just coveting other people who have gone ahead and say hey god oh, this is lucky oh. please drop your hands take it seriously you want to do business behave like a businessman don't behave like a thief How many of you believe that God has called you into one form of leadership or the other? Whether corporately, almost everybody should be lifting their hands. You are either a father or a mother at least. What are you doing to build? No, I'm serious. What are you doing to build it? I build myself every day. I interact with the brightest of the brightest of the brightest. I love everybody but I will not learn from everybody. I want to shorten my journey as much as possible so i'm not ready for anybody to bring his mediocrity and make and punish me then after many years go for the best say go for the best tell your neighbor go for the best don't let loyalty and sympathy make you just camp around people you know your brother is good but the truth is he cannot sing very well you want to be a musician collect his own tape so that he won't feel angry but go and look for people who have earned the right to command authority in that field loyalty has stopped a lot of people from moving forward a man of god who is not a businessman doesn't know anything about business is organizing a business expose and preaching all kinds of messages that don't make sense he's a good man of god but a bad businessman and a lot of people carry all of those principles and life flogs them back love your pastor honor your pastor if he's not a businessman look for a businessman and listen to him i 
Hallelujah. Finally, the third cost is the physical cost. If you're angry with me, that's a sign that God is working on you seriously. You know I won't stop. No way. Physical cost, the third one. It takes diligence and work. Not necessarily hard work, but work to bring forth extraordinary accomplishments. Look at me. Everybody say laziness. Say one more time. Laziness. For the last time, laziness is not my portion. In Jesus' name. If you want to accomplish things supernaturally, extraordinary accomplishments, three things must suffer momentarily in your life. Number one, your time. Number two, your energy. Number three, your resources. The proof of love, the clearest proof of love is the investment of time. You must have time for anything you love or you consider serious enough. How much time are you putting on ground? How much energy? Energy, everybody say energy. See, great people in life are workaholics. Are you hearing me? They work their life out until they enter that realm of greatness. Praise God. I've been ministering in the last three weeks, traveling, ministering, doing a lot of things. But it does not stop me from doing the things I have to do. Hallelujah. From this place, I have another trip again. Traveling up and down. Yet, you must give your energy. Everybody say energy. Some of you like sleep. Once it's 9.30, you're already nodding. Even if you are talking with somebody, you just do like this and the next thing you are sleeping no no if you love sleep you will kill your, your future put your legs inside cold water and say my eyes you can sleep if you want to sleep but my life must move forward if you make that determination no devil in existence will stop you physical efforts there are some of us who are lazy you hate pain you hate anything discomforting you you hate embarrassment right now as i'm talking you're feeling embarrassed why are you embarrassing us see every great man in life is one who has been able to kill embarrassment where you open up your heart and say flog me just lash it let it come to build me many of us have lived in a place where everybody has lied to us either because you're a pretty lady or you are a handsome guy everything you do is right i tell you the truth if what you are doing is wrong i will tell you change proverbs 14 verse 23 we'll look at a few scriptures and we'll pray your destiny must move forward in the name of jesus proverbs 14 verse 23 let's read together one to read in all what? In all labor there is profit. But the talk of the lips. Cheap talk. There are many people that talk, 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 talk. But the Bible says in all labor. Put your talk to work. In all labor there is profit. But the talk of the lips tended to what? your talk with tremendous efforts and tell yourself no matter what it will cost me say in the name of Jesus no matter what it will cost me I am prepared to pay the price to be the best in my field in the area God has called me I will be outstanding I will pay the price the price of time the price of energy the price of my resources Some of you are on scholarship, students. A few of you, God is blessing you. 50,000 or 75,000 or your 5 or 10,000 is coming. Every time you get it, 
you are always running to the restaurant. Every time you get it, boys, it don't land. You can't be great that way. You can't be great that way. So you create a momentary feeling of being successful. Why don't you pay the price and create the real one? Stop pretending like you are there when you are not there. If your capacity has not reached for Indomie, take Gary and use them. I, I, are you following me now? If your capacity has not reached for baked beans, get the normal one. Shake off all those things from it and cook it. Give him thanks, knowing that it will change. There are too many people living fake lives. Fake lives. You create an impression you do not have the resources to defend. Somebody comes. You see my watch now. You say, I must buy this kind of watch. You go and pack your whole finances and frustrate yourself. And you are suffering alone. And God will say, sow it when you buy it. And that's frustration for you. See, let me tell you. Say after me, there is time for everything. Say it. Be careful what you covet about people. And don't put yourself under pressure. You don't need to prove a point to anybody. If you have only one trouser that has torn, sew it honorably and wear it. Let the people laugh very well so that when you become great, they won't, they won't say it's magic. They saw you. Some of you will charter a car from Samaru to Sabo. You say, I'm, I'm in a hurry. Hurry for what? 250 naira that you can buy a book you have not gotten to that level be patient the jeep will come nobody is arguing it but it won't come now pay the price sister you will buy the human hair for now use what is available use what is available Don't carry 10,000 and spend it and you are just moving around fake lives use that that resource to build yourself Say amen. amen. If your own has not reached for Shagalinku, go to Zinc House. Go to Com Market. Go anywhere. Be honorable about it. There was a time it was Zinc House we used to go to. That was, that was our level. And let me tell you in all sincerity, even at that level, we were better than a lot of people. By that means, it's just that we decided to push our lives down because we knew there was there were higher jobs. There are many of you. If you get one million today, today, you will buy a car of seven hundred thousand, a phone of one hundred and fifty thousand, and a suit of hundred thousand. That's all. And you just come and then give a testimony. Say the heavens open, and I'm here. My car is there. My suit is here. From that day, you start suffering. Nothing else about your life. Stop pretending it. You will get there one day. For now, invest in yourself. waste your time you think people are looking at you let me tell you they are not looking at you they have enough problems in their lives to face don't deceive yourself they are not looking at you at all they have serious issues about their own lives proverbs 10 verse 4 we're rounding up proverbs 10 verse 4 he become a poor that deals with what a slack a lazy a slothful hand he said but the hand of the diligent will do what the hand of the diligent will bless him and with that resource he will be able to do big things for the kingdom next scripture proverbs 12 verse 24 the hand of the diligent again God sees scriptures about hands about hands the hand of the diligent shall bear rule in other words shall lead the hand of the diligent will take him above he will take charge he will dominate he will break records he will set the pace but the slothful hand shall be made to pay a price shall be under tribute one last scripture. Proverbs 20 verse 4. Above all. The sluggard 
will not plow and what is his excuse there is cold therefore shall he do what therefore shall he do what now is the time to sow many people let me tell you thank god you are hearing this now because there are people who think you are wasting your time i promise you they will pray in tongues and still beg in the days to come it's not a false prophecy it's the truth about life many of the great people in this country are the classmates of some of our parents two of us where were our parents when they were paying the price and they get angry when they see them this is what happens to poor people when they don't pay the price and they see others that go ahead see every time you accomplish supernatural things you create an effect that agitates people because of the frustration you respond to critics not by replying by producing more results are you ready to take your life from where it is to the next dimension i've shown you how these are keys your eatery can be the best god didn't lie when he spoke to you are you hearing me your business can be the best your ministry can be the best your life that book can be a bestseller you just need to find out find out from those whose books have been bestsellers you wrote your book it was great but it was not a bestseller yet find out god has told you that he's putting the word of the lord in your mouth and you will be a prophet to the nations as it is nobody knows you go and get this spiritual capital of the anointing pay the price and i tell you if if i were a prophet if that god called me into the prophetic ministry i would have done things that would shock people many people are not ready to pay the price everything is available but there is a price tag on it if you can pay it carry it the best car in the world is still on sale if you have the money to pay you can go and order it nobody will stop you all the packages in life according to the measure of grace and your sacrifice and ability every time i stand before koinonia i don't see see let me tell you a time will come the people you see today will be the ushers in eni just the ushers because i know there is a world dying that cannot resist the solution we are bringing impossible our job is to contend for greater grace man Oh my God, I'm a success. Hallelujah. I have the capital of the anointing. I have the Holy Spirit, the wisdom of God in me. And I will pay that price. Rise up on your feet. I bring you words of comfort. It will not always remain like this. Your life will change. Lift your voice and begin to pray in tongues. Mam preta kata bala da bos da kapra to pota na batanya da ba supernatural accomplishments extraordinary accomplishments like usaya apa te kata tete sa preta kata bala da bos make sure you are praying You are shining like the brightness of the firmament. You may start from Zaria, but I see you going far. Don't say I cannot get here. Walk by the principles. They will open you up to those gates. The nation will stand and give you an ovation. The nations will reward your sacrifice. Inspire yourself. I cannot be a failure. And David encouraged himself. Hallelujah. Very quickly, we are going to pray three prayer points. First is your spiritual life. 
how many of you know the anointing is capital i've shared it with you now the anointing can make somebody come and sow a seed in your life that your your business for for 10 years cannot give and why are you neglecting it and one river came out of eden it parted itself into dimensions you are going to pray say lord i value your presence i value your anointing that anointing i take it like a capital lift your voice and pray hallelujah the anointing my head is exalted like the horn of a unicorn and i am anointed with fresh oil power to heal the sick power to deliver the oppressed accessing the spirit that will give me a seat among the great i refuse to be an ordinary preacher i'm full of the holy ghost walking in signs and wonders that will confound men i'm stepping into deep dimensions of power of grace i respect your anointing i respect your anointing oh god pray you need the capital of the anointing you need the capital of the holy ghost the greatest gift and the bible says the gift of a man the gift of the holy ghost the gift of the anointing they told jesus all men seek for thee all men seek for thee rich men seek for thee blessed people seek for you because of what you carry if you carry grace they will look for you if you carry power they will look for you if you carry option they will look for you if you carry fire they will look for you they will invite you they will sow into your life they will bless you my spiritual life i receive your fire oh god it's not a waste it's a glorious investment that will separate you regardless of your lineage regardless of your career regardless of any factor there is a world dying out there they need the anointing they are willing to honor it they are willing to invest in it they are willing to reward it when you become anointed you will be opposed hallelujah hallelujah praise the lord during my birthday i was amazed at all the gifts that i got from people all around this nation and even from people outside of this nation many who have been blessed by the grace anointing is capital get this revelation when you pay the price if you get authentic grace there are hardly any families that invite me today that may not package something there are some of you right now you came here you left different places you package seeds some gifts in kind in cash you are waiting for the grace to sow years ago you were still alive but you did not come to me because there was no grace that means if i increase the grace a time will come i will start attracting a kind of people anointing is capital hear me he said because thou lovest righteousness and hated wickedness therefore god even thy god has anointed you with an oil of gladness that makes you above your fellows i hardly pay for things in my life right now i hardly pay for anything because everybody is counting to pay something for me that's what the anointing can do in your life stop struggling go for the anointing go for grace go for fire go for power and see the way it will raise you 
all other factors notwithstanding there are people who would never listen to me but they have been compelled by the power of his presence upon my life my age notwithstanding it has opened doors for me my age notwithstanding my level of exposure notwithstanding do you know that the anointing is capital it can end inferiority in your life when you have something men will come to drink of it he said gentiles will come to my life prayer point number two you're going to say lord i've been intellectually lazy i don't buy books i don't read but i repent this night and i begin to build myself i study by books lift your voice and pray lord i go for books i go for tapes i sit down with relevant materials along the area that i'm trusting lives to break forth for me koinonia pray koinonia pray he said then shall your life break forth then shall your life break forth the power of information if you know what to do greatness is yours for the taking if you know what to do and Uzziah invented engines pray my mind is blessed I am not bored pray I study books I buy exercise books I study every day I sit under mentors I sit under men that tally the things I need whether in business whether in leadership there are men who have gone ahead already listen to them receive mentorship from them through books through tapes prophesy to yourself i'm an extraordinary leader i'm an extraordinary entrepreneur i'm an extraordinary business businessman i will shake this country with my ideas i will shake this country go ahead and prophesy i will do what has not been done before i will create a new ways in the financial world in the labor world in the IT world in the arts world hallelujah last prayer point last prayer point look at me last prayer point you're going to pray and ask the lord you're going to say lord give me such grace that i will not be afraid of pain and embarrassment these two things if you can conquer pain and you can conquer embarrassment i salute you because you must be a world champion pain embarrassment these two things if you are still conscious of pain whether in the cold whether in the rain you will invest time you will invest energy you will invest resources lift your voice and pray let pain no god not be an issue for your people may they know no pain may they know no pain may they be men fearless men strong men of grace men of audacity men of audacity who will poke their eyes their hands in the eyes of the enemy men of faith fearless courageous strong prophesy say i can make it i can make it yes i can burn that idea great men are those who have survived much pain great men are those who have survived what ordinary men cannot survive great men are men who have endured great men are men who have tried and didn't stop they fell didn't stop they were weak didn't stop until they emerged as champions Ta 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 
Ata prakata lebos, abroto kote, 